in true Trixie and Katya form, we have chosen to unceremoniously <laughs> end this pod by refusing to even travel a half mile to each other's Excuse houses. Excuse me. Excuse me. That is uh, that is not true. It's about a mile. It's true. And in this it's about- LA rain, honey. In this rain. It's like, it's like two miles. <gasps> and in this LA rain. In the rain. <laughs> oh, God. The LA rain. People here truly do forget how to drive, though, when it rains. Because they don't know. They never learned. It so, was you know, raining, um, and I had to pick up my daughters, Sapphire and Maddox, from the Montessori school, and I drove off a cliff. I just had to leave them there. I think they're starving to death, but it's better than being wet. Um, I you would didn't like mention to anything about my that. hair. Oh, I love your hair. Well, to be fair, you did call me on Christmas to show me you wearing it. I did. I was with David's family, and they said, "I said, oh, it's Katya." She called, and they said, "Oh, she's calling you, tell you Merry Christmas." I said, "No, this wasn't about that. <laughs> this was a call about a wig, a human unit that I needed to see on her head." <laughs> if you could do it all over again, would you have been a, been a woman? No, it's too much work. Yeah, I'd rather be that. an orc from Lord of the Rings. So you well, think that women have to put on hair and makeup? So you no, think no, that no, all women no. look a certain way. Uh, wow. Uh, Good thing the pot is over because wow. <laughs> no, I I think I just wouldn't have the time. I wouldn't have the time to um deflect all the the um you know, the weenies and peenies coming at me. Bow, pow, pow. Yeah. I like yeah. I don't I want to live my life not be in a video game. Yeah, you being to say a so woman so hot. Yeah, right. You being hot. a woman would, would have been too powerful. That pussy would have had a, uh, a cyclone of gravity that was like, <laughs> it just sucked the earth. Yeah. They would call me M87 because this pussy would be the biggest black hole. It would suck all the energy life force out of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. Listen, happy, it's happy. the last episode of the pod, but we have done this to people before. It's not the, la- <laughs> Mary, it's not the last episode. It's not the last Yes, episode. it is. No, Mary, you, bitch, we signed on for two more damn months. You, uh, you made me feel like it was the last one. <laughs> I really thought I it was try- the last one. I tried I really to thought. You, I tried to tell Bitch, you. Bitch, I-, I really thought. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> will talk about it off the air. So, it's Christmas. It's the day after Christmas. <clears throat> it's Christmas. But it's still Christmas. This It's Christmas from Christmas uh, till New Year's. Don't you think? It's Christmas. To me, the spirit of Christmas dies once the presents are opened. I know that that's dark, really? but... Yeah, I think the part of me that was a kid, because you know what? When you're a kid, Christmas is kind of like anticlimactic. Once you've opened presents, it's you're kind of like, oh, I guess now it's a whole day of nothing. Oh, mama, you didn't do it. We, we merged Christmas and Easter. We hid all the gifts. So, you know, like you do with Easter eggs. Who cares if you find an egg? There's no fun in that. So we brought a little bit of Easter to the Christmas table. The parents, uh-huh. they would hide gifts, not even in the house, all over the neighborhood. So Christmas could last three weeks. Oh my God. You know, I think I've told this story before, but when does that stop me? Um, one year, my mom, the Easter bunny, hid our Easter baskets in the woods and we had to do scavenger hunts to go find them. And my mom, the Easter bunny, wrote poems being like, blah, 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 blah. Poems? Go here and take a left. It, it, yes. And it was me in a winter coat being like, where is that? Uh, like, you know, no, I, mama. That's big. I'm not Jessica great with shit. puzzles. <laughs> I do. You ever do an escape room? The ultimate white activity on earth. No, no. I did. I did it one time. Tried to. I didn't even get through the first. I, it was like, you know what? This is crazy. This is crazy. This is ridiculous. We have unhoused people in Los Angeles, and I have you have me paying to get out of a room. Thank you. I narrowly exited an abusive home. That was my escape room. <laughs> yes, yeah, okay? seriously. And the stakes yeah. were extremely high. <laughs> yeah, uh, getting uh, unburdened by the, uh, the from the clutches of poverty. Yeah. I have an alcoholic stepfather. That's the OG escape room. Hello. Hello. Is that too real? Am I getting too real for you guys? I don't know. Anything. Nothing could be too real. Not even this human hair unit. Where's the latest? Human Try hair unit. It. Can't find it. Can't find I'm it. Not even, I, I'm not even. I'm not even looking because I know <laughs> that I will not find it. Um, Listen, human hair units are the craze. I got to tell you this. There are people out there wearing human hair units that are um, not even the right volume 
or density for their head and their body. And I'm happy for them. I'm really happy for them. I got to tell you about the, here's the This is the joy. This is the joy of the human hair unit. As a person who does not know how to style a hair, um, human or otherwise, I have no idea. It's all about the wash, the blow dry, the half blow dry. You get her damp. And that's when the magic happens. You put on that damp little wig and you just feel that that damp, like um, those like wet little tendrils down your back, your shoulder, your decolletage. And you look at the mirror. Your, isn't your back and neck already wet when you put it on though? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but this is a nice wet. That's that good wet. <laughs> yeah. That cool I have wet. a question. Didn't we just record an episode about Drag Race? And why isn't this playing next week? Because that is scheduled for right before the thing. It's January 5th. Oh. 5th. Spoiler alert. We might have an episode talking about RuPaul's Drag Race coming up, which we never talk about. Yeah. Oh, that's right, divas. Uh, snatch those wigs because it's getting hunty up in here. Fierce work. Hunty. <laughs> Honey, you want to get down diva realness? Tea? Yeah. So what did you do for Krimba? Oh, had a great Christmas. So me and um, just a very select group of people who may or may not all work for me. <laughs> it was like a, it was like an office Christmas party because I don't have any real friends. But there was, was no fax machine, <laughs> no lamps. No, no drinking. No, um, it was um, me and, and Eden and um, uh, our friend Ethan. We watched Benedetta. The Lesbian Nun movie by Paul Verhoeven, Mary Benedetta. Did you live? Benedetta. Are you enlightened to the sapphic nun agenda? Girl, pussy skeeting for for Jesus. Pussy skeeting. <laughs> good for them. No, it's Honestly, so fierce. It's so fierce. It's so People good. have done a lot worse shit for Jesus. So that's that's great. I want to. I want to. I'm going to say. Uh, I just want to uh, tell you one scene that happens early. It's not a huge spoiler. The young girl who she uh, later on becomes a nun joins the convent. She's praying in front of a statue of Virgin Mary, and the Virgin Mary for this particular statue has a breast exposed. I'm not sure why. Um, what? But, and um, I don't know. And uh, but the, so she's praying, 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 and then she, something happens. You know, it's like there, the, the, there's a crack, and the statue falls on her, and but it she, like pins her down. She sees that titty? No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. I thought you were going to say that thing was going to fall over at the last second. She, and it, <laughs> straight in, and it just. Basically. <laughs> yes. Basically, yeah. It's so fierce. Paul Verhoeven is not, he's wild. He's 82. Yeah. Showgirls, total recall. Lesbian shit, no, none of the girls lesbian are doing shit it is like getting Paul. easier and easier to come by. I watched that film called, it's a Hulu original called, We Should Do Something. Oh, I haven't heard I, haven't heard that. I think it's called We Should Do Something. Oh, God. I think it's the equivalent of This Is Us, and I'm calling it, like, I Am Me. <laughs> like, it, I, I don't think I'm calling it the right thing, but it is that. And Let's there was, go there was, out. <laughs> we should do and something. There was, yeah. There was some occult lesbianism. Occult lesbianism. Wait, wait, wait. Who's in it? Who's in it? Who would play her? Oh, God. If we're being honest, I just don't know anyone from anything. Could you I look never it up, know perhaps? You got a anything. computer at all? Okay, okay, okay. I'll do the research. I'll do the research and development of the pod. So okay. I watched that I'll the other day. Think, Because David was, you know, I was home alone with nothing to do for days. Because COVID's going on. David's been in Palm Springs. Christmas Surge. hasn't started. So, so Surge. Mary, all it my plans Surgina. out the window. Am I seeing the Go-Go's on the 29th? No. Am no. I going to see the Golden Girls with Lucy Davis tonight? No. No. Am I DJing New Year's Eve at Milwaukee? No. No. But are you going to the Critics' Choice Awards? Yes. No. No, it got postponed. The Critics' Choice Awards is postponed. And I'm deeply concerned because the a person to beat, I think, is Bo Burnham, whose special is about COVID. The last Ugh. thing I need is for him no, to get no. another surge of publicity. No. Mom, he doesn't need okay, that. We ne- After what he okay, did to that little girl and promising young woman. What did I call it? We should. It's called We Need to Do Something. A oh, psychological close. horror film. Seeking shelter from a storm, a family finds itself trapped for days with no sign of rescue and untold evils lurk beyond the walls. Um, this, uh, Sierra McCormick plays a young lesbian. Young lesbian. She's also played a young lesbian in American Horror Story. I think she's specializing in teenage lesbian storylines and good for her. 
Good Vanessa Shaw plays the mom who was in Hocus Pocus. She was the hot girl, Allison, in Hocus Pocus. I'm going to be honest. I don't know anybody in these films. Um, and I, I did watch that. And that was uh, disappointing and confusing. So that's tough. <laughs> I kept waiting well, for did. something to happen. And I was like, yeah, you should do something. <laughs> Writers, filmmakers, oh, so it's you not should a do good something. Movie. Yeah, come on. I really wanted it to be good because I could tell it was going to be like abstract, kind of uncomfortable um, yeah. horror. And I was like, yeah. yes. And then I, I was like, ugh. 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 We need to do something, like make a good movie. Uh. <laughs> it's really hard to make good horror movies. Why do you think that is? Uh, I disagree. I disagree. I think it's, um, here's what horror movies, the genre has going for it. Economy. You notice how, generally speaking, horror movies are clocking in around 90 minutes? Yeah. That's great. That's great. That's great. Yeah, but people can do a very little with that 90 minutes. That's what I'm saying is, why do you and think they it's sure so do. easy for films? To, why do you think it's so easy for horror films to go so meh? Well, because nobody has, A, it's a lack of imagination. And people are, these days, people are reverting to cheap thrills. I don't care for those jump scares. I have high blood pressure. High blood pressure. I have high blood pressure. Uh huh. <laughs> and I hate that. They're cheap. Your thrills. life is a jump scare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you walk by a mirror and it's a jump scare. And I scare. go, ah. Oh. Yeah. No, I, me and Michelle Visage were watching a movie together in the theater once, one of those conjuring movies, and we almost had heart attacks. We were digging into each oh, other's those, arms. Those movies are terrifying. The conjuring but and the conjuring too. Not scary, two. though. Not scary. They're, they're absolutely they're scary. They're jolting. They're jolting, but they're not scary. You don't leave feeling like, do you know what I mean? You don't go to yeah, bed like, feeling like, you're not I'm unsettled. talking haunting. Yeah. yeah. I need scary. I need gripping. I need thrilling. I need haunting. I need spooky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm Candy reading man. right now. Yeah. Sure. During the day, nary a jump scare. I'm reading uh, St- Stephen King's Misery right now. Misery. Oh, yeah. Love it. Great. Terrifying. Um, Terrifying. I don't know if you could imagine, but somehow I relate to uh, somebody feeling like somebody who's a fan of them might try to kill them. Huh? Maybe it's might close be to home. A cock of duty. <laughs> you, said somebody might, you poop. <laughs> yeah. Um, the swearing, Paul. It's the swearing. Um, yeah, it's uh, good. It's scary. Mm. It's scary. And it's not jump scary. It's deep psychological dread. Oh, it's scary. It's yeah. scary. It's horrible. It's also it's not horrible. supernatural. You know, the, 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 the bad guy in Misery is a, a, it's an unhinged, insane woman, which is not, it's not it's far-fetched all fantasy. It's all of us. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes it's in our own backyard. <laughs> Is your ex still using your Netflix? That's what one woman found out after she downloaded Truebill, which finds and cancels subscriptions with just a tap. Do you know why free trials renew without your consent? It's a business scam out to get you. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. Because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions, so you don't have to. I love Truebill. I just I downloaded it a few weeks ago and they've already saved me over... Let me tell you, it, it, the, the numbers keep climbing. I've saved about $475 so far with Truebill because I... Um, well, let's just say, you know, some people do online shopping... I do um, a porno website joining and, you know, it adds up. And so I've been able to trim the fat, as they say, and save a ton with Truebill. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash bald. Go right now. Truebill.com slash bald. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash bald. Bombas' mission is simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So this holiday, when you gift Bombas to someone on your list, you're also giving them to someone in need. It's a give-give. Everything they make is soft, seamless, tagless, and has a luxuriously cozy feel. They're made from super soft materials like merino wool, pima cotton, and even cashmere, which makes them the perfect cozy winter layers 
for sitting around the fireplace and talking with Diane, or Judy, or Betty, or any other woman. Bombas are the... (laughs) Bombas are the coziest gift for everyone on your holiday list. And thanks to their festive gift boxes, you don't even wrap them. You don't even wrap them. You don't have to wrap them. All you have to do is the giving. You do have to give them. You have to give them. You don't have to wrap them. Socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items at homeless shelters in that order. That's why Bombas donates one for every item you buy. The thing that I love about these socks, these shirts, and these underwears is they feel so good on my body. And the only thing I love better than feeling good is knowing that someone else out there might be feeling good too. They're the perfect gift and they give back to those in need. So happy giving. Go to bombas.com slash ball to get 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash bald for 20% off. Bombas.com slash bald. Um, wait, 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 wait. I saw a movie that I was so deeply disappointed by recently and it was... Oh, Nightmare Alley. Speaking of horror movies, Nightmare Alley. You know what? what you know what? Ni- you know what the nightmare was in Nightmare Alley? That whole movie. That oh, really? Movie I don't even know. What, what's it about? Shit. So Guillermo del Toro, all star cast. We got Bradley Cooper. We got fucking Tony Collette. We got Kate Blanchett. We got fucking Rooney Mara. We got fucking um, Willem Dafoe. It's an all star cast. Uh huh. Gor- gorgeous. It takes place like a, it's all carnies. It's like the th- the trailer was very. Gorgeous, mysterious. Ooh, Carney Wilson. Wa- Carney Wilson from Wilson Phillips. Mm-hmm. It was her weight loss journey, and it was just um, all shot through a, the the pin eye lens of a gastro bypass camera. Mm-hmm. It's two and two and a half hours. Is it a scary movie? No, bitch. It was rotten. It was two and a half hours. The, basically, it's just a big long advertisement for don't drink. You lost me. Oh, I'm sorry. We're breaking up. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was mad. I was As mad. As a vodka saleswoman, I would have stormed out. I would have, I would have, I would have, you, me at the movie theater, I got my bucket of popcorn. I got my yeah. little flask. I'm pouring it on top. Little. Like it's a buttery topping. You got mm. those, that hat with the, you got the, the, the hat with the two giant um, tall boys in it and the straw. No, I got the, the hard hat with the beer helmet, but it's, it's yeah. giant popcorn things. That's how much I love popcorn. <laughs> they're they're pulling spring bottles <laughs> filled with <Yeah>. liquor. <laughs> because I had the week off, I too have been part. You know, I don't watch a lot of TV or films. Period. And I've been watching a lot of items. Uh, I went to see the Resident Evil movie, the new one. Is it good? No, but of course it's a <laughs> video game movie. I knew it wasn't going to be good. I don't care. Okay, you know, let me stop you right there. Let me stop. Let me let me stop you right there because I need to. I need to know. I need to know. Eden's like this too. Some like uh, a bunch of other, but many people are. You know a movie's gonna be bad. Why the fuck you fucking with it? Because I love the video games, so okay. I knew that I knew that even though it wasn't going to be good, I like the game. So I need to know. I gotta know. Gotta I went know. with other people who've played the games. We all, you know, we all have a, a like. Did you bring your controllers? No, no, we didn't. <laughs> um, it was uh, me, Mateo, and Brian, who owns Precinct. And we all went, and we sat right in the front, and we watched it. And we did a lot of looking at each other and going, what is happening? What? What? Because if I'm confused as a person who's played the games, I know that somebody who knows nothing about the movie is like, what is happening? However, I have something to rescue you. Something to, um, you need a hero. I need a hero hanging out for the, uh, Yes. It's a little television program called Yellow Jackets on oh, Netflix. Oh, I started it. I started it. See, it's not on Netflix. It's on Prime. It's on Prime. Amazon Prime. Isn't it? It's not on Netflix. It's not on Netflix. I think it's on Prime or Hulu. I only know about it because David put it on. Yeah. Because you know, I, I, pay- I don't like stunts. So when I smell something that could be like Emmy baiting, I don't like a stunt. Oh, Totally. Eleven Perfect Friends. What was that show called? Nine Perfect Strangers. Mary. I'm like, we're not Tina doing that. Bestie. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Yeah. Anytime or a Nightmare Alley, Kate Blanchett with like a finger wave. I'm like, we're not doing that. I don't like to be pandered to. I don't like um, the, the the Academy's favorite twelve people carted out in front of me. I, I just I I'm not buying it. You know what no. I mean? I root for the underdog in a way, and so I don't like something that seems like it's going to be good. <laughs> 
<laughs> if it seems like it's gonna be good, I don't want any part of it. I'll be at the theater. I'll be at the yeah. theater seeing Resident Evil. Yeah, okay? Steven Spielberg, eat my ass. <laughs> I know. I Dave, I was like complaining about watching it. David goes, "Oh, I'm sorry. Should we watch the Reno 911 movie again?" And I was like, uh, maybe. "Maybe we should." Is it good? Yeah, maybe well, if it's good. Oh, Yellow Jackets is on Showtime. Showtime. Yeah, thank you, but producer. But I watched the Reno 911 movie. Um, which Reno 911, they look for QAnon in the movie. They go on a QAnon booze cruise to find QAnon, find out who it is. It's incredible. Oh, that's that's. I mean, yeah. Can I tell you a spoiler? A there. deep spoiler. A deep spoiler. This is for everybody. Skip ahead. Okay. They finally find QAnon on a remote island that QAnon owns. Guess who fucking plays QAnon? Who? 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 RuPaul Charles, girl. <laughs> So it's the cast of Reno 911 finally being revealed who QAnon is and a chair turns around and it's RuPaul out of drag with no eyebrows on and just boy eyeliner in a turban and a robe. And he's <laughs> QAnon. And I just felt like the edible hit. I was like, what? <laughs> what? And it's all That's the, great. The, it's the cast, which I love from Reno 911. But when RuPaul entered the equation, I was like, did I write this movie? This yeah, is amazing. That's crazy. That's awesome. It was so good. When is it? Where, I've, the, where, the movie? When it's on it Paramount out? Plus. It just came out on Christmas. Oh, it's it uh, it's called Reno, Reno 911: The Search for QAnon, I believe. Do you have to be familiar with the with the show to to really get the full enjoyment of the movie? No. No, I mean it's a it's a troop of fairly inept police officers from yeah. Reno, Nevada, trying yeah. to find QAnon. Okay. Okay. And Did you see Diana? Of... No. Sorry to cut you off, Spencer. Oh, Who's Diane Di- Spencer? Kristen, Kristen Stewart movie as Princess Diana. It's called Spencer. Did you see it? Oh no! Do people live? Um, certain people live. She didn't, unfortunately. You know, she died. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> um but it, it's a lot of throwing up. There's a lot of bulimia. A lot of bulimia. A lot of time at the toilet, hugging the bowl. Um, they really then, don't want um, her to be dead in Hollywood. They don't want Diana to be dead. They won't uh, accept it. I just they as reanimate a person corpses. Who, They're doing necromancy in Hollywood. Mama, they didn't. I did it. They used this corpse as Diana on All Stars. I, I think let's just let the bitch rest. Let the bitch rest. But there's People this are scene though. With it. There's this. So this I realized lately. I <clears throat> I have been so turned off by um not gore but like it's body horror. Like okay, for example, in this she takes uh, um wire cutters. And she snips her arm, like the flesh of her arm. I mean, not not like her. You know, Is she car, doing self injury? Yes. And trigger warning: self injury. Trigger warning: self injury. Because I have to tell you, as I, I had such a visceral reaction. It's it's so deeply disturbed me. It's why I had to walk out of the movie Titan, the French movie, because there was nipple biting, and I just like oh. I I couldn't watch. I just couldn't watch it. And I love gore. I love gore in a horror movie. You know, chopping heads off. Love that shit. Love that shit. But like it was so in the sound design was so perfectly done that that snip. I was like, oh, it was like ugh. I was tough. puked. Yeah. Which for you, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can. I, I mean, I don't I, listen. I can <laughs> see a lot of gore and feel nothing. Really? Wait, wait, but wait. I can Do also go to the funeral of a close friend and go to work the next day. So, like, don't go by me. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't go by me. Don't <laughs> Do go. I don't cry for anything. You're like Eden. I don't cry for anything. She has I, never I been moved to tears. I used to cry tears. a lot, I think. And now I'm just like, no. Yeah. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. We, we don't, don't do, do that. that here. My body, yeah. I drink too much. My body's like, we need this moisture. <laughs> we need this hydration. <laughs> drink the tears. Oh, mama. I got big, juicy goblets. Big, juicy I got big juicy tumbling. I love but it. But do you think it's an, do you think it's a release for you? Do you think it's like um like almost masturbatory? Like oh, uh, is it like not quite masturbatory? But it's certainly I just I, I love sensation. So I love feeling. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a break. We're taking a fucking break. We need a clean break from what you just said, <laughs> so we can go back. <laughs> What's coming in between you and your happiness? Is there an obstacle, a quagmire, some kind of unavoidable circumstance that seems impenetrable, suffocating and overwhelming? 
you need not worry anymore because there's help afoot. Better help, in fact. Better help, an online therapy service will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. All of this happens in a safe and private online environment. Could you imagine something more convenient or helpful? Rest assured, this is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. This is professional counseling done securely online. You send a message to your counselor and guess what happens? You get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions whenever you want. <laughs> All without ever having to sit up or get out of the house. You don't have to sit for hours in traffic and then slump in a chair in an awkward waiting room. No, 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 no. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if you need to do that. Licensed professional counselors have specialties in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBT stuff, grief, and self-esteem. Everything you share is confidential. It's professional, affordable. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash bald. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. And we're back. I, are we in the studio today or is this your apartment? This is the studio, baby. Oh, it is the studio. Wow. Yeah, we're in the studio and I have been, so I've been re- reupholstering my furniture, which is thrilling, by the way. Um, you, wait, are, ugly... you, are you doing this? Yeah, I'll show you a picture. It's fierce. <gasps> oh, shit. That is so, so amazing. I think shit like that is so cool. I'll work. Oh, my God. You look <laughs> like Fabio when he got hit in the face with that goose on that roller coaster. I got hit in the face by a goose. Yeah. By a goose. Um, goose in the face. I'm telling you, listen. So I got that cloud couch. It was the biggest purchase I ever made. $4,000 a, f- a couple years ago. It was a huge purchase. I was very scared. And it's the most comfortable couch I've ever sat on in my entire life. And everybody seems to be of that opinion. However, Mama, she is bland and blah and ugly in no. a light gray. Yeah. So wait, did you pick the color and then you change your mind or what? No, no, no. That's all they had available. That's the couch is gray. Oh. People want gray stuff. People were like gray. They like white. It's gross. So I'm I'm taking all these fabrics and I'm fucking that bitch up and she's so fierce. Work. How it's are you fabulous. doing it? I'm doing it with a sewing machine. And some I know, but scissors. have you done this before? Never one time, not in my life. Never so even made a pillowcase. Like, are you just kind of like making like the pattern as you go? I'll show you. So. Sorry if I'm overly is, interested. I do think it's interesting. No, so this is one of the giant pillows. Uh-huh. I made it black. So that's like wow. that. But then um, I'll show you pictures because it looks so fierce. It, it's like black and white checkered and then red and then vine. It's, it's, it's cute. Yeah. I, um, I was I, watching <laughs> um, a Great British Baking Show, the Christmas edition, and Matt Lucas was hosting it. Who And I just... All I could oh, see was myself. Oh, no, no, All no, no, I could no, no. see was myself. Hold on one second. Literally one second. Oh, my God. Totally. That's him, right? Yeah, entirely. For those of us listening on audio, uh, it's what is that? A rubber, Where do you get a rubber head like that? Dappercadavers.com. Oh. Yeah. What are they for? You know what they're for. <laughs> Nobody's fucking that thing. My penis is only, wait, look, see, it's only that one. My penis. I get a little tooth. I get a little tooth. <laughs> no, um, you have well, to, I'm honestly, you've got to watch Dune. I'm, I'm going to keep talking about it until you do it. I'll watch Dune. I'll watch it. I'll do it. I'll do it out. Dune and you know baiting. Dune and baiting. David's family is moving into a home in Palm Springs and it wasn't ready yet for move in for holiday. So we spent the holiday at the presidential suite at the JW Marriott in Desert Springs. It was very that's difficult. Re- that is, it was tough. Wow, that's really I know. It tough. Is beautiful that's and really, lovely. Room really service tough. every night. Love. What was, live, what was the menu? Love. What was the menu? It wasn't great to be honest. Like when a hotel's offering a cheese quesadilla, don't get it. When the hotel's offering spaghetti, don't get it. You know, like really, no spaghetti. 
like when a hotel tries to call a pizza a flatbread, I'm not buying it. Oh, fuck it's off. It's a pizza, Mary. It's a, it's a that's pizza. That's a frozen piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary. But th- I was connected to a golf course, and there's big, you know what I did? You know how I don't like to break rules. But I said, fuck it. It's you took a shit piece. on the greens? You took a shit no. on the greens? Oh. <laughs> no. What? I wanted to run. I wanted to run six miles, and I didn't want to run down the street. And, you know, the, the golf courses have paths for golf carts. And there's big signs that say no pedestrian traffic. And I said, I looked to my left, I looked to my right. I said, what are they going to do? They aren't going to be able to catch me. Not even those carts. And I ran oh, you six are miles. Bad. On. Oh, you're bad. You're and you bad. Know, you know, and you know what? The caucasity <laughs> jumped out because I, all the people I saw were rich white families on Christmas vacation golfing. It was like, it was like hot, skinny dads with like, you know, hot, skinny, 20 year old sons golfing. And I'm just like, wait, hot, skinny. Da- oh, OK. I, I, like, I don't. It was like golfing. dad and son outings, ca- like ca- Caucasian wealth on display. I just don't know. Even no matter how much money I ever got, I wouldn't be golfing. That being said, Brandon got me tennis racket for my Christmas present. And now I want to learn tennis. Mama, tennis is there's nothing. Tennis is over here. Golf is over there. Tennis That's is one of the I hardest, think. most Who tennis is, is golf? an incredible. Mama, ain't nobody playing golf. Golf is the only sport that has never factored into one of my sexual fantasies. Hmm? Think about it. Well, the outfits What's, aren't doing them any favors. Nothing's doing. No, uh, no one's golfing. No one's golfing. Tennis, though, is the one. Tennis, Tennis is, is hot. Tennis is so hard. It's so hard. It's so impressive. It's so fantastic. It doesn't it's look so easy. It's so difficult. It's so I think I'm going to get a real instructor. You should. There's. I have a, a great porn where um, the girl is getting private tennis lessons from the guy and he fucks her over the net. And mama, that shit is lit. <laughs> Work. He's he's helping her on her uh, serve and she's not wearing any panties, of course, you know. You think I can get Sharapova? I would or aim higher. She's priced Go for Serena. Per hour. Serena. Let's do Venus. Serena. Yes. Yeah. Venus, or Venus and school. or Serena. Martina Navratilova. Get that, that, good, um, that good butch energy. David told me that Martina Navratilova's wife is on a Real Housewives franchise now. Oh, re- really? I think so. A, you know, how I like to come on this pod housewife. and say shit. Talk about and not know what I'm talking about. I think you're right. I think I read that. Also, don't you think Courtney Act should be on the Real Housewives? Okay. Real Housewives of Miami. Never to love it to appear in Real Housewives of Miami. Her wife Julia Lemagova will be featured as part of the main cast. Cool. Lesbo drama. Let me put my hair up. Lesbo drama. Martina Navratilova. Is she Serbian? I wonder. Love the name. Yeah, it's great. love the name. I love people with a fun name. Navratilova. <laughs> I love fun names. <laughs> Well, if you're just tuning in, I've relocated to my couch. Yeah. I'm still on the same um, like. wooden toilet. Um, so, Navratilova, fun names. What were we saying? Um, oh, we just like Navratilova, fun name, you know? Fun name, yeah. Um, oh, our resolutions, New Year, plans for the New Year since. Oh, I, I know what I was going to say. Um, I tried to watch this fucking comedy special about Yearly Departed, but there was so, it was so COVID heavy with the with the content. I had to turn that shit fucking right off. I yeah, don't want to hear about COVID. I don't. It's not interesting. It's not fun. It's not funny. It's I don't want it. We're still in it. I know. It's like not it. I know. I I don't want to hear people make jokes about Zoom. Ugh. I know. When um when One Night Only came out and then COVID hit, I remember thinking Oh, if I'd waited a month, I could have added a couple like jokes and made it like the first COVID special. And now I'm so happy I didn't because I'll watch it in five years and not be reminded of COVID. And not yeah, like this, it just locates it in this horrible, nasty, not very. It just yeah, it's dated in the worst way. It's yeah, it's just gonna remind everyone of like a horrible time. I'm so over it though. I mean, I did get my booster, and I did too. I don't fear getting ill. I don't fear getting sick. I fear getting sick and then having to shut down several productions that I'm on because Hello. of COVID. So everybody that's has COVID, issue. Mary. Everybody's got it. Everybody Everyone, has COVID. I know. It's I know. crazy. 
It's crazy. I know. But I guess they're saying that it's drastically less um you're a lot people are a lot less sick, less symptomatic. Well, that's But I just good. worry but about it, it making me miss work. That's my I was going to say it's like yeah, uh, being in bed or having multiple mul- you know dozens of people not have a paycheck because you can't come in. Right. Cuz especially when I missed that day of Netflix and stuff, I missed uh, you know it I start to think Yeah, about it was the worst people. day of my life. That was that. I don't. I don't think you realized what the impact that had on me. The responsibility I had to. It just. I just. And I. I know that the tables have never been turned, so there's no possible way for you would understand that. that <laughs> somebody. <laughs> and you know what's going to happen right before you and I have to take on the biggest undertaking of our lives, which is an, an international tour. COVID's going to COVID. poof disintegrate. Oh yeah! Right not, before not, I'm not about to issue. go back to bed for a year and say maybe next year <laughs> it's going to go, and just like that. COVID died. <laughs> and just like that, COVID died. Oh, and just like that, Mary. And just like that. We got New Year's resolutions, Mom. Uh. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, to be perfectly, perfectly honest, no. <laughs> I haven't resolved to do anything. Mama. I mean, I aspire. Pa- perfect to be- don't need polish. Perfect don't need no polish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and you know what? It's important to know when you can no longer improve um, Thank for better you. or for worse. <laughs> I know we know to, our limits. <laughs> I want to do another marathon, obviously. Um, but great. I honestly, if we're being honest, the full marathon took so much time at certain points of last year that I don't know schedule wise if I can actually commit that many hours a week again. I mean, on the weekends, thought- I'd be running two or three or hours. I don't know if I can do that with the schedule. So I think I might do half this year. <laughs> Halves are 13. Half's great. That's great. Yeah. I think 26 point whatever is, is verges on self-harm. That's just my unprofessional opinion. But, you know. <laughs> That's what my David, you know, David was like, you don't need to be doing that. He was like, you do not need to be putting your body through that. You need to be working. And I'm like, yeah, I guess what? that's true. Well, you don't need to be working. I mean, you don't need to be doing using that time working. Oh, you need to work. I watched the Brittany Murphy documentary and it's about her boyfriend putting her in TV productions that he produces and forcing her to work. And I was like, Hmm. Sounds that's exactly familiar. how David Silver treats me. Micromanaging outfit. I was like, you're going to wear this yeah. and you're, <laughs> I lost 17 pounds last year and I, I'm not saying I want to lose more weight, but I do not want to gain a single pound of it back. So that's, that's mm-hmm. pretty up there for me. Yeah. Uh, I want to keep DJing, but I guess if we're talking about like an actual goal, an actual goal, I don't have one. No, great. No. Girls, we mama, have to work are for- all year. You and I have to tour literally until December. So who cares what we want? <laughs> it has nothing to do with what's going what to happen. What you want to do. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do is not necessarily what you're going to do. Seriously. I guess my goal is to still like you at the end of this year. Yeah. And my that's goal enough is on not my plate. to be this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, put the wig on him. Give him some dignity. That's me with your wig on. Like, I'm sorry. Hi, guys. <laughs> sorry I'm late to the Zoom. I'm really excited to be here. <laughs> Can she go on tour? Can she replace me, please? <laughs> please. What are your resolutions? You got any? Um, I do not. Uh, no. I don't got no fucking <laughs> Quit smoking. Always. That's always the one. So what's the strat there? Oh, there's no strategy, mama. It's a goal. I mean, sorry, it's a resolution. Well, For yeah, a but goal, you have strategy. You know, if, if quitting smoking is point Z and you're at point A, do you have any idea what the middle points will be? Yeah, you got B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> um, no, it's and to read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because some people, some people, they replace it with like. Um, no, no replacing. Like- no replacing. You do not replace. You cannot replace. You just stop. No, I mean, like, I'm not smoking right now. I'm not smoking right now. I should be. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm not smoking right now. I look behind you and I see two cigarettes in the ashtray. <laughs> Why don't you I start really vaping? Don't... Or not vaping. You know how they do. But you that's know how marijuana replacing. People... That's replacing. That's replacing. We don't want to do that. But you know how marijuana people put their marijuana in a vaporizer and then they just sit in the room? Why don't you do that with cigarette smoke? That could be fun. 
Just hot box I'll just, yourself. I'll just reek. I will, it won't get any yeah. of the benefits, all the drawbacks. You'll just smell. Yeah. No, I um, I don't want to smoke on tour. Um, It's going to make your life so much harder if you do. It's going to make the show really hard. And if you quit now, give your body a few months. Your lungs will One be month. in a completely different place. I only I only need 30 days. And that shit will be like, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm in good physical shape. I just have no endurance because of the cardiovascular. Do you know what I mean? Girl, you don't want to be huffing and puffing to the point of blackout every night. You don't. Let me tell you, it's going to (laughs) happen. Huffing and puffing and wheezing. I'll be a little wheezy. Miss Wheezy over there. (laughs) Trying to be sexy. Pig died. Pig died. (laughs) Pig died. (laughs) <laughs> if you drop dead on stage, I am going to say that. I I really need you to. I really need, and I I would love to die. I would love to die on stage. I mean, I that I I don't want to die on stage, but I don't want to traumatize the people. But that'd be kind of fun. No, no. Are you kidding? That's when I was um up on those wires that one time in drag. It crossed my mind. What if yeah. this is how I die? And wouldn't that be iconic? It would be the it would be the best thing ever. It'd be so fierce. It'd be so fierce. It'd be even Although fiercer myself, if nobody got nobody got photos, like nobody got video. That no video. Oh, and it's just like a, it's just like a tale. Like you were there. Let me tell you how it happened. Like large Marge. <laughs> it was the worst. Yeah, exactly. That's what people are gonna say about our tour. It was the worst accident <laughs> I ever seen. Speaking of, we have to start rehearsing that like soon. Like in January I know. almost. I know, Mary. It's it's imminent. The the you the and I need nine. to have a. You and I need to have a, a in-person read through of that script. I know Eden and I just read through it, the complete thing, um, yes, uh, the other day, a couple of days ago, and um, it's in a good spot. It's in a good spot. It still needs some. It needs work, but we can punch reading, it up together. Reading through the script is not my favorite activity. Girl, how do you think I enjoyed writing it? <laughs> <laughs> I know, not fun either. <laughs> I know, not fun. I'll and sit here I only and read Stevie it. King is it for a third time, but I won't read my own script to my own show Mama. that I have to perform. It's hard. Uh, it's hard. It's really difficult, and you have to make it funny. Yes, it's, and, and it's, it's a hard It has cycle. to be funny. Yeah. You like self judge it, and you know, but they say you can't create and edit at the same time. So you just got to go by right. that. You got to just oh, spit I, it out. I know, but Mama, when you go back to the the spit bucket and you try to sift through all the shit, and there ain't no gold in there, it's a little tough. I don't, that never happened to me. (laughs) Oh my God. Do you want to tell the viewers that you're, that you're decorating your house? Hi. Hi, viewer. (laughs) Yes. Actually, I want to show you, um, damn it. I wish I had some, um, motherfucker. I wish I had, um, a picture, but it's, um, I, it's so, literally it went from like, it is move that bus. That is like, went from drab to fab. It's so fierce. The place is looking so cute. How long is it going to take till you're done? Um, it'll probably be done before tour. It'll have to be done before tour. Probably two more months. Mama wallpaper. It's tough. Although, although, but there's no, we're not, we're not like blasting. We're not taking out walls or anything like that. Oh, okay. That's not so bad then. It's just painting wallpaper and a little more furniture items, some fixtures. It's a rental. It's like, how much do you really want to dramatically change I it? I know, yeah. I know. And it's an expensive one. You better Anyways, like okay. that place and never leave. I fucking love it. I love it. Every time I, I open you. the door, I open the door and I go, oh. You wake <laughs> up smiling. You wake I up do. smiling. I do. It's so <laughs> fierce. It's so fierce. Um, well, that happy New Year's, everybody. Hope you have a lovely New Year and um, Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm, um, I'm going to have a very low-key New Year because everything's canceled. You know what I'm going to do? And this yeah. is sad. What? I'm going to go in that drag room, probably turn on a movie, and spend days in there reorganizing drag. I just need I it. I love that. But that's so... I we're going to do a deep clean for the New Year in the studio. Like, pussy, like, yeah, legs in the stirrups, speculum going in, and we're going to root mm-hmm. that shit. Yeah. Because Brandon great. has off for the week, and I'm going to get that room to a point where when he comes back, I go like, this is what it looks like, and this is what we need to keep it like. Yeah. Period. Period. So if anybody wants to come by and clean, my home address is... <laughs> yeah. I'll be sure to share the door code with them. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <gasps> well... Before we go, 
Wait, what? Did you hear about my costume that got stolen from my house? I just had a package stolen from my house too. My studio. My I couldn't my believe poor it. Customer. That, that jacket was so fierce. That was she, so she, fierce. She told me, she said, if it was really stolen, I'm going to cry. And I felt so bad telling her that I saw video footage of someone coming in the building and stealing it. Yeah. You saw, f- there's footage? Uh-huh. There's footage. Because there's a camera in the mail room. Just came in, grabbed it and left. Was it the only package they, they took? No, they took two others. But like, what does a size 16 men's build female jacket, what value does it have to anyone? Mama, it's the holidays. They're, they're doing, they're, no, they're doing Christmas. They're doing the holiday haul. Also, they didn't know what was in it. So no, like, no, no. It's, they, they're, going, they're going house to house, mama. It's the holiday haul for thieves. I know. The, the Citizen app or whatever has been like going off, being like, yeah, bitch. Yeah. Everyone's getting their packages stolen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do anymore. I guess I guess I just I'm, I'm moving. Honestly, yeah, you should. Well, maybe you should. Well, it seems like you have a really nice place. I'll just bring some clothes and listen. This is we got to pull out this studio. How was we have a pullout now? And the shower's functional. That that water pressure yanking. I'll wait right till off. it's reupholstered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Happy New Year. Goodbye. <laughs>